told you. Yeah, yeah they're looking for you. Right Sounds like you know. Seems a bit unusual. I have a feeling I know what this is going to be about. I seriously am reconsidering on me trying to find a way Thanks, to Toti. <clears throat> Young Lord, Captain. I do not think that we have been probably introduced to our Lord Leerhardt. My name is Captain Futsam, so it is a pleasure to meet you. Captain. Logistics officer, I am not usually in charge of the military, uh, yeah. you know, the coordination of the operations. However, Major Dario has unfortunately caught ill. Hmm. So, if you would join me inside, we will go for a quick briefing and then I will let you go. Of course. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is going to be a very simple rundown. Uh, however, due to its sensitive nature, it will be as dead in my office. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> These walls, unfortunately, have ears. Something that I am not willing to, uh, not eager to admit. However, <sighs> this whole town has ears. It's probably for the best. Yes. We are forced to acknowledge. The security mm. challenges that are presented with the managing campaign of this size. We by the door. Mm -hmm. Very put very simply, I'm sure that you are understanding of the situation that your father is currently in mm -hmm. is in sieged. It's the embassy. And they will not be getting supplies for some time, I think. Definite. They are likely running out already. It is only a matter of time before they begin to starve. We cannot allow the robber baron to capture the embassy. So some exceptional measures must be taken. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, it is the stance of the empire in the province of Notus that we are not to interfere in this guardian affair ever since our wonderful lady Heidemann has seen to see herself kidnapped. So we are currently, as you say, um, we are being held by the balls, yeah. So, I believe that you, being a member of your race, will find yourself capable of undergoing a quick night mission. Mm -hmm, of Perhaps course. Perhaps you could find some supplies that have been misplaced by some unruly imperial logisticians down by the docks, and you will be able to bring them by box out to the embassy's rocks while avoiding some of the patrols of the robber baron. This would be very dangerous, and I would recommend that you not take plate, because if you fall into the water, you will drown. Mm -hmm. A very clumsy of the, uh, the Imperiums. Ah, yes. Well, you know. Like, uh, there are so many lists, so many records, how can I <clears throat> keep track of all of them? Yeah. Me. The patrols along the coast have been numerous. They've heard what group, what size of a group would be too much, do you think, to slip through? I can gather I think up. That the size of a group that would outnumber a uh, small boat, probably. <clears throat> but that is just, you know, we are talking hypothetical here. Of course. Here, of yeah, course. yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Yes. I'm, if this was to happen, I could pick my, my group of people myself, right? Yes, of course, whoever you could pick. However, I would, you know, not pick peasants, for example. But that is your business, Lord mm -hmm. Earhart. That is not mine. <clears throat> now, um, heard there was rumors of potential, ah, here we go, weak points that would need to be uh, repaired in the embassy in case someone was to make their way in that way, of course. We would need to know about it. I'm just wondering whereabouts on this map that would be, so we can make sure no one sneaks through with any supplies or anything, since we need to get in there. Unfortunately, you will not... Unfortunately, if you do not have a sally port, that will be easy to get in and out. You're going to need to leave them right by the coast, by the rocks. Very quick in and out. It will take two trips. Okay. Two trips by boat, or two trips out of the embassy proper? For them to get it. By boat. I see. If you leave them there, I have the inkling that <clears throat> some 
some individuals on the moon might be able to spot them after hearing words from a bird. How strange, I know. Weird. Well, thanks for letting me know about this potential security threat. I'll get on rectifying it right away. Yeah, of course. I hope you have a wonderful evening, Lord Earhart. Take care. And you, Captain. And uh, good luck with uh, your peaceful night back at your blacksmithery. Just taking it slow. Yeah, of course. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Flame be with you. As we say in the oh. yeah. Huh. Yeah, then fire be meet me. Yep. Give me. me. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Captain? I lost the house. You lost the house. The uh, boat is ready for whatever mission you have planned. How did the crap? Maybe they shared this. They're supposed to be keeping that quiet. You know that this empty this place has fucking ears and the I think it's okay. It's I'm gonna need to gather up a team. They're joining the rock band for some reason. You're going Hello, to take contact. this individual along with you. Yeah. You're going to get out of uniform and you're going to join him and show him where it is. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, much schnell. What? Is... Don't know if well, you'll be much use with your plate and such. Yeah. I'm gonna have to grab a couple other people. I can shed such things and I can carry do supply. Do something Very well, do so. I'll grab right. the others. That would be amazing. Yep. I, I do have, um, I do have leather. I've got a good lot, lot of coin. Even if you don't work there anymore, I'm going to pay you. Hazel. <sighs> Hi, first of all. Second of all, uh, Torty, what'd you run up to? I have no idea. All I heard was that that one general man that you had to talk to just said he has to go jerk off, so I thought you would laugh at that. <laughs> Anyways, I think she might have gone that way. Alright, thank you. That way. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do if they wait, if we end up losing this. <laughs> don't know what's going to happen to me, that's for sure. Oh, see you very clean. The robber baron's all about, like, you know, just... Same for me. I'm alive and well. What the fuck are you doing here? True. Um. You want, you want me to ruin oh, that for you hi. right now? Oh. Uh, do you want to steal the boat? Welcome. Yeah, I do. Do you want to come with? What are we doing? There's a lot of feral cats over here. Uh, <sighs> well, why not? Uh, as long as you don't get me thrown in jail, I appreciate it. No, Sarah, you uh oh, Wait, what's going on? Able to move and fight if need be. Oh, fuck off. Mm, I'm not. I mean, ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Captain okay. something. What's happening? Mm-hmm. We need to go out. Oh. We need to try and get some supplies to Arn if we can. Oh. To Arn? Yeah. Where is he? He's held up at the embassy. We're going to uh, find some supplies. Keep it light. We don't want to, you know, put them onto a boat that we've found. And that boat is going to go up. I can just... I'll just give some copper to Ray. I'll understand. I want for a night ride. It's have okay. A boat. It's okay. Can you maneuver it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Any boat, easy. Fantastic. I can be a pair of eyes. I still do have my sling, but my bow and my knife are out of commission. I don't want to risk you getting hurt. But... You're gonna leave me here alone. <laughs> no. Yeah, what do you need? <clears throat> yes. Drow time. All right. Well, there was this fisherman we spoke with earlier. He uh, knows how to keep his mouth shut. Good. This way, when you are ready. Yeah, just waiting on uh, Tiberius. 
Oh. I'll explain the proper plan when we get her into your, to the water. <laughs> Was that <Sorry>. your neck? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> All of these will be joining us. I was coming to you for like 20 minutes! Right. <laughs> yes. Everyone <laughs> just waiting on top oh, of your and we'll go. Should be enough. I think his boat's big enough. I can crack my fingers The there. bathhouse girls are great with uh, the massages. Yeah, you oh, know that, oh. wouldn't you? <gasps> Oh. Oh, good, you're alive! Oh, you're Fuck, alive. that was so hey. scary. Hey. Good. Oh, that was a close one. That thing scares me every time. Oh, well. Little circle. Orca? Cool. He's harmful. But. Huh. Not it's not orca. orca, it's. I'm okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the cultural uh, <clears throat> pronunciation. It's Aka, not Aka. Okay. Oh. Right. oh my god, who are you? Who the f- <laughs> Who are you? You're just a pair of red Don't worry. Alright, time to go. <clears throat> All around. Oh, smart. Good Be job. Only keep the other faces. Imperials off the dock so long. I yep. Have to do time now. Oh, no. Thanks. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know anyone here. I figured I would just not find you, so I just hope you come back. So Sorry, Marcus. Strategy. Um, I think. Okay. No names. <laughs> Friends yeah. that are ready for that joy ride we spoke about earlier. Huh? Oh no. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm right here. No, I'm not yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, I see. You're not you're okay. It's okay. It's okay. That it's was okay. weird. <laughs> Afterward, it's up to them. Really sure. I'd grab my robe, but uh, it's fine. Best of luck. We were never here. The supplies. All right. <clears throat> hmm? Fucking didn't tell me where the supplies were. You know? I suppose I'd down there. Them, where are we going? I'm <laughs> Can chat. Should I just run and grab him again and be like, motherfucker, tell us what it is? Oh. Of young, of young Lord mm hmm. Not the rest of you. Go over there. Okay. The one in charge. <laughs> You're spicy. It's okay. I'm very cool. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. Seems our talk finally. You have u use of my other profession. Yep. It's gonna talk to you about that. Our Imperial officer doesn't know any shit about <clears throat> that. <clears throat> nope. But I would keep it that way. Good. These uh, supplies, are they down there or are they over there? I don't know. They're down there. Got it. Okay. <sighs> Just keep in mind. I know none of you are exactly, well, unless you want to tell me I'm wrong. Many of you haven't done this. <clears throat> well, if you want to come Kill with... the light. Keep it quiet. Who you think's so driving the boat? All right, come on, yeah. I've done this longer than most of you ever have done this. Do you know where we're dropping them off? I'm aware. Okay. Um, Torty's been around boats as well are quite a bit uh, you can use I know I know for eyes uh, as I assume, I'm, I don't drive. I'm leaving the eyes up to you well three four yeah to be sure, honest you don't exactly bring this many in a smuggling operation but sure <laughs> Marcus help How me load them up come with us Mr. Marcus you can't see I Marcus can I can feel yes these are the supplies Okay. 
Get them loaded on. We're going to do two trips. Just, you know, keep it quiet. Besides, I can pack mule. Two trips. Okay, it's easy that. Damn thing shaking. <sighs> You're so light. <sighs> yeah. I consider that an insult. No, it's a <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm right, well, on. Thank you very much. for this one. I'll we'll come back for the others. Yeah, you can be toned <laughs> and light. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Fine, Tiberius. As a good friend. Fat. No, Separate. no, no. The word is thick. That one. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I, I hope I'm sitting Yeah. Okay. I yeah. hear you. You you have a ladder stuck to your hand and you're sort of freaking right, me out. Take it. Maybe no take it. Shot it. Do you have a seat? I don't see grab. anything. Yeah, I'm here. I always bring my ladder with me. Okay, good. There it is. That's what's killing me. Okay, I got rid of it. Sorry. I don't think that <laughs> trick works anymore. Sorry, man. What the fuck? I, I'm afraid I tried. I tried it myself. It went too early wrong. Go go loco. Go go yeah, loco. Yeah, upgrades there, uh, people, upgrades. I think I could do this before. You have go go? No. No no, I do not go go. Ah shit. I need to get you go go for your. <laughs> I, I tried to cheat it as well. It I, didn't work. I barely. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just go. How many times do I have to tell you, come to me and I'll help you? <laughs> Let's go! I have social anxiety, Dottie! Why? Why? It's, I mean, it's fine, young lord. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> You'll grow out of it. Ready up. Let's... I don't know if he will. Focus up. Okay. This is important that we do this right. Alright, All right, here's the plan. For those of you that don't know. The Imperium cannot assist in any way in this fight right now. So what we've done is we have found some Imperial supplies that they left on the docks by accident. We're going to take those, mm. go around to the back of the Imperial Embassy, and leave them there for the people inside the Embassy, i.e. my father, to use. They're going to come out in the morning and they'll have what they need. Right now, as it stands, they're running out of supplies. <clears throat> see that? In the distance. Light. Looks like it's oh, smoking. Yeah. Smoke. Yeah. Smoke, fire, yeah. Hmm. We're gonna have to take a long way around. We cut. We we hug the coastline. They're gonna see us coming. There's way too many people out. Yeah. Right. This is a fun part of my job, Kyber. Kyber. Mm -hmm. rough yeah even from here you can even from here you can see the catapults firing in the distance slamming into the towers fire is burning uncontrollably the smoke rises from many different plumes as the entirety of the embassy it's quite literally under siege Flaming stone after flaming stone hurls from a distance that you can't quite see. As they begin to slam over and over into the embassy itself. <clears throat> oh god, <laughs> your flight has gliders. We're okay. <laughs> Some kind of item on them. It's okay. It's gone. Draw, 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 draw. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna fucking throw it off. They're gonna take us out. It's alright, everyone. It's okay. That's fucked. Well, my lord, it 
could be worse. Why, why, why would you say that? No, oh, it's meaning of comfort, and I'm not anything malicious. From all my years, any time the robot says that does make things worse. Alright, I'll, I'll shut up. Never thought I would be upset to see an Imperial Embassy burning. Mm. Alright, here comes the very hard part. Keep it quiet, everyone. Torchlight on the coast. Two of them. Two patrols. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. They're expecting I can someone to come. <clears throat> Sorry, I expect I someone them. to come along the coastline. They will not look this direction. Right. I can hold the boxes. Just tell me where to go. Okay. All of you, keep in mind, the window is short. Do not make any bad decisions. Quick and clean. And then get out. But if I, am, I imagine if I'm carrying all of it, I'll be a bit slow. That's fine. Okay. Once I hit the sandbank, all of you immediately get going. Even at this distance, now as close as you are, you can hear shouts coming from within the embassy. Many torchlights out the front. And the drow can see the very tip of a ladder being put to the walls. That brings back memories. Yeah. Patrol up ahead. Get ready. Don't worry. I see it. Okay. All right, everyone. As you start to come closer. Kyla, your eyes goes to the wall closest to you, wandering for a way up, and suddenly an impact slams against it. Some of the crenellations literally falling off of the wall as a second shot slams in almost the same direct place. The siege is merciless. You hope for the best. He's done. Get ready. Get ready. Alright. Four. Three. Two. Go. Unload the supplies. Good luck, all of you. Stay here as long as I can. Wave off back into the into the water. I'll reflect the moonlight using my sword. When you see the flashes, come back. Give me a push. Marcus. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Let's get up there and see if we can get a reading. Find a good spot to drop these off. Right. Just make sure to look back every now and again. Yeah, cool. keep it slow. I don't have one of those fancy potions. Or do you keep it slow?
Is there a DM here? Fuck. Keep moving. Dodge light and stop. Moving. Keep on. Come on. Moving away. Carry on. Just gonna look for a good spot now. Quickly through this. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Right. Voice. Follow it. Mom. We're looking for a good spot to leave it, Dresco. As you look around, you know that the robber baron patrolmen that have been filling the woods will surely find this before night, despite what the Imperial Captain told you, Kyler. It would be best. Rolling insight. With an 18, it would be best to try to sneak around to the front gate and deliver it inside. God. Fuck's sake. I snuck in here before. Oh, there he is. Hello. I've been here before. Oh. Um, it was kind of a roundabout fucked way, and now that I think about it with what we're carrying, it's not going to be a good idea. So never mind. Okay. Right. We're going to have to get to the fucking front. Come on. Front? This yeah. way. We're not going to be able to get around this way. It's alright, we have cover on the front, I think, but there is a stretch where there's nothing. Lead. So we'll need to be quick. Come on. Come. Don't move too fast when you move with Marcus. You're right. He's hurrying in my ways. Pause one moment. Pause. Pause. As all of you begin moving this way, you hear the sound of roaring battle in front of you. The sound of men climbing ladders. <sighs> Kyler, with your previous role in mind, you will need to fi find somebody to strap the crate to their back, and they will need to climb the wall. However, at a point that is not so high, not scaling the literal rocks. Sarah. We're gonna need to scale the wall somehow. We can't go this way. Do you know anywhere that we could do that? Fucking hell. Anything with a bit of terrain On the advantage? Back side. On the back side, there's a mountain. So back I the way we came. I scaled it once and got myself inside. Yes. Alright. Turn around again, yeah, I guess. Right. Okay. Close to All right, Marcus, strap it to your back. Do 
you have any rope? This is risky. I have one length on me. Alright. I have some leather straps. Can you strap that to his back and we'll use the rope to help him up? Yeah. If yeah, you be able I can to climb in the dark like this. That's what the rope's for. I'm sure it's wise. <laughs> use two of my leather straps mm. to basically make a backpack, I guess. It's taking a harness. Yeah. Okay, now just slip it through. How well can you see, Marcus? Am I able to see the box oh. where you're walking? I have the moonlight and that's it. Rope. I'll be right back. Yep. Yep. As you begin to head in this direction, <laughs> Kyler, Torty, Tiberius, Marcus, it's all of you would come to realize these cliffs and rocks are too treacherous. <clears throat> You will need to scale the wall itself. At carrying it up, be too dangerous. We're trying to go up here to get towards to the wall. wall. Yeah. That's where they're firing at. We're gonna need to take it from this side. It's no, understood. The, there's no wall in the back. <laughs> oh, correct. Oh. I was just going to get over the fucking wall. Back fucking this way, then, everyone. Come on. Right here is where we're gonna have to do it. Uh, what I can do, uh, I can help try to scale, uh, scale first with the rope, That's and then what I, I can do it, uh, suggest. the loop hatch. No. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. If there's something I get leverage, I can hack the weight of the box easily. All of you will need <sighs> to turn on climb all. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Josh, can you stay I'm here? Go home. I'll stay here. Yeah, stay you here. guys. Yes. All right, go. Okay. <laughs> Boom. This way, right here. Come see here. So, my stall. Come on, dance. I'm just lit. I'm just. Fucking daddy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let you sit with that one, Shinfo. <laughs> I'm gonna let you cook. Alright. Torty. Oh, I'm right. first. Yep. Give me the rope. Uh -huh. I'll bring it down and I'll see if I can leave it. Yeah. I'll give you a boost. Alright. Damn, do you want me to grab that vision so I can see what I'm feeling for, so I don't fall? I will allow that. Okay, I'll bear back. Siege, my goodness. <laughs> I know. He's oh, gonna get shot by Redon, man. I can oh fucking God. feel it. Listen to her. <laughs> me next, then. Sure. Get down for a second. Let me know if something's happening. I'm not staying down here. That into draw your nose. Three Kylas. Wow. Wait, that's not. Yeah. Hey, fuck you, I think. Who's next, young Me. Hey, get up there. There's the rope. Next. 
As you begin to climb up, Sarah, you can hear just over the battlements the sound of clashing steel, of men shouting, and blood being spilled, of dying death knells and cries for their mothers. <clears throat> Drexa. Yes. It's my understanding that this is trip one of two, right? Was that conveyed correctly? Or is this the whole thing? This is the whole thing. Okay, good. <laughs> just checking. You understood it properly. It was just changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. From ahead, you can hear the sounds of pitched fighting and combat emanating from the courtyard of the embassy. Oh, God. Come on. Is the rope packed around you or are you holding it? Rolling, Marcus. Marcus, with a 12, you have guides from ropes uh, ahead of you that are able to help lift you up. You are secure in your position, even with the species tied to your back. Get Tiberius up. Is he coming? He says the rope around. Okay. Lock and tackle. He's half his weight. All of you suddenly hear an earth shattering crash as to the left of you, stone is split from the tower and a <gasps> massive block of the crenellations comes flying overhead and crashes into the tower behind you. <laughs> Hurry it up. Hurry up! You can see in the remnants of the tower's turret, Tyler, the massive stone that was hurled by Trebuchet and counterweight above you, remaining studded, stuck in the mason work. Rolling where, perception. Where oh. With the 19, peeled eyes reveal hints as to ahead you see orange and yellow flashing on the turbans and the sashes of the men ahead. Gradian versus Gradian clashes in the courtyard with both sides seeming to hold ground. He's listening for on. Near your father, amongst the fray, his his signature shouts coming forth, commands being issued. All right, I didn't hear that. Okay. Bring the All of you would know that the longer that you stay here, the more dangerous and precarious your mission becomes. Taking the rope, I'll just wear it. It's okay. I'll grab this. Cry comes out from your father, Tyler. A call for reinforcements amidst the other shouting you heard. As another boulder comes flying through and crashes into some earthwork, disturbing the shingles on one of the barracks or storehouses in front of you. The horses are all spooked, kicking and neighing wildly in their pens. Marcus, drop the supplies here and get ready for a fight. Captain. Yep. Wait. Okay. We should go. Wait. Okay. If we stay and fight, we won't be able to get the other supplies. We'll lose time. This is it. This is the, all of the supplies. 
now. Marcus, ready to fight? Alright. Wait for them to clash, we'll hammer an anvil. This needs to be decisive. Get on the walls. Ladders, Get to the ladders. There's ladders. Go, 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 go. Torty, watch the towers. That's what the Torbuches are aiming for. Okay. Where's the ladders? Are there physical ladders? I don't know, but we're looking for them. Push, totally push. There a god? There is no god. There is. We're looking for these ladders. Yeah, if you push, push the ladder ladders. off, you can see so many robber baron soldiers below you begin to shout Ooh. as they try to continue lifting it back up. You can see the crane of a trebuchet begin to draw back ominously in the distance through the darkness with your drow vision. And a boulder is suddenly launched forwards towards you. Fuck. <laughs> it arcs high <laughs> through the air. <laughs> and above you, Marcus, and above you, Sarah, this building is crashed into a massive boulder crashing through the stonework and sending wood splintering. Yeah. Rubble falls around all of you. Uh, <laughs> all right. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> All right, fuck this. Torty, Sarah, go along the walls. Keep pushing down these fucking ladders. Marcus, Tiberius, you're with me. We're gonna reinforce okay. them. Come on. Stay fucking Very safe. Well. Ready, lads? With you. Here we go. Side. The blade comes from the left, cutting through riveted chainmail. Blood, blood sprays, and your blade shines red in the torchlight, Tyler. Your father stands by and weeping. Blade work continues to crash against this robber baron's men. So blood is drawn and he is knocked backwards onto the ground. Come on, fuckers. Tori and Sarah are on it. Right. Yeah. Tiberius, take the walls! On the right!
Clear the battlements! They're running the trebuchets! Clear the battlements! As all of you are standing here, a crane is released off in the distance coming from the robber baron's camp. For a moment, all of you wait and listen before the whistle of air can be heard above head. And suddenly, this battlement comes crashing forward, the crenellations sending bricks flying in all directions. And you are all thrown to the ground as rubble and smoke fill the air. Unpause. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Come on! Ow. Get him off the walls! Come on! Get Tony off the walls. Fuck. Put my men off the walls. Occupy the guard towers and nothing else. Secure for now. You heard him up to the guard tower. Fuck. We brought supplies. Are you okay? The assault does not cease, and all of you would watch as another boulder comes flying forward. It crashes through one of the second story columns, sending the archers that were holding up part of the embassy tumbling down in a mass of stone. the orders inside! Inside! Come on. God damn it. Bed's back here. Rest. I'm gonna need a roll. Anyone? DM. Yeah. yeah. I can Rolling handle Tyler. it. Um, fight progression. Yeah, they plus three, correct? Getting my fucking ass hit by the thing. Yeah, full leather. <laughs> Understood. With a 16 plus 3, your armor would thankfully have kept the wounds at bay. There were a couple of nicks, little markings from blades that nearly cut through. However, it held its own, as did your sword play. On your feet! Yes, sir. Pick him up <laughs> okay, I'm gonna it. They won't want to lend a hand. We need to move some medical supplies. Grab a crate. It's a box here. Help me move it. Fuck's sake. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's go. What's that? Keep moving, we gotta get inside. Double climb it! Go! To the left! Go! Go! You know that. Drop it here. Very close. Make sure everyone's seen to. And you're. You avoided the medical support. I think he's trying to be treated when we have to move him. I don't know if it really is. See to your men! Oh, the I had count of how many have been lost. There are only 80 this morning. I've seen at least 10 bite the bullet. The Lord. Okay, make it yes. I need an accurate count. I need to know how many arrows we still have. How many bolts? Find which bags of grain have been spoiled. Those bags of grain are going to be used to put holes in the walls. Our men have yes, the granary in the storage room. <laughs> The entire building shakes, foundations shift as dust begins to fall and chandeliers swing from the ceiling. Captain, come here. Come to the benches. Duck! Supply lines are non existent. Go through every single crevice that the Imperials might have missed. Find every little bit you can take. 
Bring everything out of the outside warehouses. If this place doesn't have a basement, get some fucking pickaxes, start digging up this gaudy floor, make a hole, and start burying our supplies. And rip down these yes, fucking turrets! Yes. You are the man! Get to work! Bro, you Get me a can. medic. Bring a medic. Bring his supplies. Who didn't think we'd be in fighting? Bringing supplies. We've procured some from we Major Darwin. buried behind the enemy, my son. How are you here? I took a boat up the river. <laughs> Climbed the wall. There was no other way. We grabbed what we could. Well, you've definitely got to get out. Yeah, I agree. They're going to continue their assault until morning. Get me a fucking medic! They're going to continue their assaults until morning. What else do you need? What can we get you? In front of the, the, uh, need. I need men. Soldiers. I'm going to start stitching this. It's going to hurt. <laughs> do it. Do it. The situation is dire. The situation is dire. No shit. I started this in about 18 <laughs> Speak. Speak. I was going to say they're bombarding the building. I think you figured that out. Thanks for letting me know, Cooper. Carry on. We're not gonna last long. I said you should fine. You got something on your arm as well. I have about 75 fighting men left. Maybe less after this last encounter. Good news out of it all. They've got eight catapults, four trebuchets. They're not going to risk moving it forward on How's your breathing? They're not going to risk it. Constricted. That's the breastplate's dented. <coughs> They're not going to risk moving this up, because if we sally out with a few horses we have, I got others. Thank you. See to the others. Then we'd be able to destroy those siege engines, and there would be no siege. He's not stupid. There's a massive base that's been built across the road. Three hundred men garrisoning it easy. There's no sneaking in and out of there. They've condensed all the. <sighs> They've condensed all the siege weapons in that one place. The chandeliers continue to swing in the midst of the conversation, dust unsettling. The tabards even sway with the movement as the building shudders under the weight of the trebuchets. I said rip those and things ammunition. down! <clears throat> the siege engines will not move on notice and they will not attack the town while they're focused here. As long as we hold here, the town is safe. But that means you have to figure out what to do about it. We have no eyes outside of the walls. We don't know what they're doing. We can only see what they're doing outside. Okay. We can buy you time, but I need you to take charge. Lord, potion. I need you to force the Baron's hand. I need you to make them see sense. Scrape. Keep up whatever coin they have. Yes. Do whatever they have to to raise an army or something. Follow my eyes. We have three, maybe four days, Max. I'm not going to lie to you. The walls are already damaged. We have enough rubble to be able to fill in the outside. So that's not a problem. But eventually, it's going to be more than that. I don't have any engineers here. So. Figure out what to do. We do know they're going to start cutting through the Sabine. <clears throat> we intercepted. We intercepted one man on horseback before the initial pushback. They have fortified the logging camp. They've made it into an invasion staging point. They're going to push hard through the Sabine. They're planning on using a road that cuts through the mountains along the river. It's near the place. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Dangerously close. Another road. If they can intervene, arrow fire traps to slow them down. They plan on moving tomorrow. All right. If if. If Nonis gets cut off from Cassetto, you're losing your fish supply. There'll be no food. People will starve to stop fighting each other. Yeah, 
we'll counter as best as we can. They managed to raise 50-something well-trained fighters today. I'm trying to figure out the best use for them. Damn good. Well, what are their specialties? What are they used for? Talk to me. Arena fighters. We have a mix of range and melee. Fucking slaves! Gladiators! Better fighters than robber baron's men. And they're going to cut and run if they don't have someone leading them. Who's leading them? Dredge. We're fucked. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Gods. They can't do line fighting. They're strong, sure. <clears throat> but their fighting is meant for group fighting, one-on-ones, things like that. Not for line battles. They don't have the discipline. I figured Hit to use them, yeah. Hit and runs, ambushes, or to puncture through something. Open us up. Or shock troopers. You yep. already know. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to tell you. I don't even need to tell you. Alright, I'll try and counter this push of the Sabine Forest. There have been rumors that a gap has opened up in the line that could allow a small group to get past into something. Try and disrupt our relations. The men are terrified. There's this big bastard by the name of Pasha that killed seven of my men by himself. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yes. We have about 20 quivers worth of arrows left. Yeah. Maybe we have to survive one more day with that. Maybe two if we're smart. <clears throat> Get two men, volunteers only, to stay outside while they're still pummeling us. Put whatever arrows and new bolts you can pull out of the corpses we'll and our men. Save them Sir. to be used. Shit. Sir. Yes, what is it? Fuck! <clears throat> Speak to me. It's just dust. One of the roof just collapsed. I managed to get out on one of the medics. We lost four, maybe six. Start reinforcing where you can. These archways take grain bags and reinforce the more stable regions of the building. We cannot have them following right. us because if they do, we've lost. Get it done! Right! <laughs> That's the law's working on getting some elder oh. arches. We're going to need something, anything at this point. Yeah. I'm glad to see you alive. I take it as a success. We'll talk about that another time. Now we need to get you out. You cannot stay. You cannot. Halstead! Would, um... Yes. I still have some authority. You. Well, aid my son, and whatever it is that takes place, do not let politics get in the way you serve as his second in command. Do you understand me? By your will. Sir Brooker? I'm alone. Even rumors have reached me here that some people may be trying to kill my son. You will stay with him at all times, and by God, if you catch the one who's doing it, you bring them to justice. Aye, sir. I'll make it work. Corporal! Sir, take a rope from behind the counter. Back right of the embassy Aye, that's been hit the least. Roll it down, get these people out of here, roll it back up and come back. Alright, you lot, with me. Come on. I got security, with you. Let's get you oh. outside. Yeah. Come on. Someone check that man, make sure he's not dead. I need every able body at the Colonelations. On a uh, quick idea to get more ammunition, if you make a uh, straw man to stand at the edge of the... Watch the buildings. <laughs> Fuck it. <clears throat> we need to get to cover. Report! We can't stay in the open. No, we have to move. Wait, Get no, their asses moving! Let's go! Come That's on, side come is this on. way. Let's move. Come Hurry up. Come on. The men have got you all covered. Let's go. As long as you see that up there, I'm alive. You understand? Understand. Go, go. I love you, my son. 
I love you too. I love you. I'm proud of you. You're a good man. You're a good lord. You are everything I wanted you to be and then some. You are everything to me. Save these people from themselves. Make them take action. Be their light that can be in the sun just as much as they can be in the dark. I love you. Go. Honor and wisdom. We lead. Let's go. You. Rope's tied down to the end of there. The rest of your party's waiting for you. Go, go, go. <sighs> it's done, my lord. I've suddenly done cool. No. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Mister. Shit. I'm pulling this bolt out of me. Get down there. What's up? Do you have like a bolt? <sighs> Oh, you're getting that for me. It's not, it's, it's not in me, it's just in my armor. Right. You lied. Pull it out, he's fine. Honor and wisdom! Oh, your <sighs> he's dead. We lead! man up! Okay, we gotta go. Best way. The easiest, the worst slope. Come on. Double time it. Yeah, I can kind of yeah. see the eyes. Look at him. <sighs> oh shit, I'm so Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's get to the shoreline. I might have a crazy idea. We need crazy right now. Tell me when I get back. Hmm. Okay. All right, gravel. I need to see. Come on. Okay. Let's voice. My voice. Do the bush. He's waiting for us. Come on. We can do it. Tyler, as you stop for a moment and you look back up towards the tower, just barely you can see carved out through the leaves, arm waving at you. Seat Tiberius. <clears throat> Fine, there's another one. Just use the seat to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Are you sitting? Okay, we're good. Everyone on? Yeah. Go. Yep. So okay. echoey. Oops. Looks like you still have the helmet on. <laughs> The sound of fighting gets distant as the final two cracks are heard as one of the towers crumbles. The rare tower that you just passed begins to slide down the back of the mountain as the fighting resumes. It is clear that the front line is brutal. The embassy itself is a miracle that it still stands. Conversations needing to be had, put on pause. 
perhaps a feeling of guilt or pain, knowing what's been withheld, but it is a necessary evil. A focused mind is a mind that survives. It wasn't needed yet. Be it noble sun, arrows in the dark, the gleaming armor of a rose knight, the swashbuckling of a pirate, or the sword as a man a part of an order long gone and far away. The deeds done tonight may have saved several lives, maybe even extended the siege by a day or two. But isn't that what survival is? One inch at a time, one step at a time. Soon, the shouting and screaming grows distant. All you hear is the lapping of water against the boat. And all you can hear is silence. Stop. Oh God. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How dare you? What happened? Oh, it suddenly jolted forward. It's good to be home. Seek medical if you need it. Otherwise, great job tonight. Yeah. I love that. It's good to see them alive. Good job, everyone. You had a plan? Yeah. Especially you, Tavius, your, your voice is very soothing. So, yeah. 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 Hmm. Maybe. 
I love you. I'm sober. Oh, no, I don't. Just kidding. You're exactly I what I wanted and hoped for. And so much more. I am so proud. See you guys later, yeah? If you find one of the sergeants, let me know if there's anything. Send them here. Mm hmm. Okay. Can do. Did you see it? Hello? Just checking to make sure. Did I see what? <sighs> the flag, the griffin. No. Does that mean something to you? It's the house flag. The Erhard flag. It's flying right up on oh, the flight pool. Yeah. That's good. As you say this, your hand wanders to your sides to rest them in your pockets, and your eyes widen for a second. For the first time in a long time, Kyler, you've been swindled. You reach into your pocket, and you realize... Something's been put in. As you pull it out, you remember something that Arnulf Erdhardt used to do back in Ledford when his nerves would get the best of him. In fact, you remember seeing him do it while you were sitting or lying in his bed near death. After one of your many miss missions. It is a horrendous wood carving. One that depicts something that vaguely looks like you. Very similar to what he had made before. But this one's different. This one has you in armor. This one has a griffin on your chest. This one has your hand resting on a blade pointed into the dirt at your feet. You can even make out the misshapen drow ears. All these years, and he's still terrible. Seems we've <clears throat> rubbed off on each other. A bit. You put it down on the table and it's <laughs> resting somewhat at an angle. The bottom not really sanded properly. <sighs> Even during war, that's all he's thinking of. You. I know. God. That was a violent knock. As you sit there and he goes to answer the door. Oh. Yeah, I'll go. Sanders. Hi. I was told you needed me? Different sergeant. Redard sergeant. Yeah, I fucking... <laughs> well, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Rolling. Uh... I'll keep um, an eye open. See if I see any of them. I'll call them your way. Yeah, you might yeah, have to... you need to be really specific. I said, like one of the sergeants. sergeants. They know I fucking hate you, I don't know why they decided to get you. Come on. This house has never been more empty. 
You might have Akka hears this. Hello, Akka. But where did you get that? Oh, I see. I was working on a dagger earlier. How, um, secretive is this plan? I don't want to kick her out. I think she's harmless. I looked for the sergeants. A lot of them are asleep. That's okay. We're we'll still with the tomorrow. Duty patrolling. <sighs> Um... Arka? Yeah? No repeating words that you hear in here. No. Yes. Yes. Would any of you like some tea or water? If you could deliver this to the guard barracks, please. I have asked them Hi. to ready the QRF force in case they do an early push through the Sabine forest and to have men watch their right flank, primarily. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm alone. My lord. Mm. It's as if it's as you've said. They won't believe word alone. This will need to be stamped. I did stamp it. Possibly by your father's uh, insignia, is it? You just opened it. You would know he means the outside. Well, the outside. <laughs> While you share the sigil, you do know there are imperceptible differences. I will stamp the outside. Hmm. You do so quickly with ease, and a step out of your hand than you expected. Make sure it goes to one of the sergeants, no one else. It is imperative that the robber baron does not know that we know. Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> there is one downside to this plan. I do have the matron's ear. I have not used that favor yet. I could convince her that sending her men after the robber baron's men will ensure easier passage through Gradia for whatever it is the drow are doing here. I fear The consequences from that, though. If the drow become a problem, it's... <laughs> you still have that favor. She has hundreds of men. Hundreds of trained drow. Killers. You understand risk versus reward. That's a powerful boon. A better use of them. Truly seems a bit of a waste. 
A better use of them might be to try and get Ladia back if they could infiltrate. We have some current plans going, each more desperate than the last, but maybe if everything else fails, we could use that. Where is she um, being held? Right now. Intelligence is that she's moved around, but primarily based at Telor Keep. At least that's what we think. The issue he with that. that to you, and you realize exactly what he's about to say next. The issue with that, obviously, is because we infiltrated it once before, they're looking for that again. So we can't just sneak our way in and take her out. Security will be three times as heavy. But we have. Other ideas, less, uh, well, different, thinking outside the box. They could do this, easily. They could do both, honestly, <clears throat> they could. I could convince the matron that taking care of the robber baron in general is going to be good for not only us, but for her. It's a big risk. We still don't know exactly what they want here. I mean, oh, yeah. maybe they don't even want to be oh, here I now do. that... I've going. known what they wanted for a while now. <clears throat> Looking for something, right? They were looking for the same thing everyone else was. What we took. That's what I mean. Now that it's taken, they might not have a reason to stay. It wasn't just that that they're here for. I don't know why they would want something like that, but... I feel like the matron would find and um, a shared interest in the robber baron not being in the province anymore. Could definitely help. Once notice is free. That's the issue. <laughs> this is a big trump card. Like, massive. I don't want to play it too early. Because even after the Robber Barons, probably other Vapex, and they were in a similar situation. If our backs are truly against the wall, maybe then I'd like to hang on to it as long as we can. Since, as you said, I mean, hundreds. That could... Plus, there's a fucking Inquisitor on the way. Yes. I plan to tell torch. my acquaintance everything <clears throat> I, even. I mm. need them to remain an ally to me. It's very important to not only my safety, but this entire area. I agree. Keep them um, friendly for now. It's very tempting to use the favor, but I, if we need it down the line, you know. Like, we need it down the line. I and we don't have it. I just thought I'd offer it. I do appreciate that. It's not it a is bad shout. Better. Thank you. <clears throat> now to a more... dreaded topic. Does... Does Arn know? Was he told about... About? Morden. Was he told about Morden? I don't know. He... He sent you all down there. He survived for a few days, and then... I received a raven. We went to rush to his aid, and he was not conscious. He stayed not conscious for... Three, four days. And then immediately woke up and went to the days, front. Yeah. That was the first time I've seen him since... Well... I don't think anyone's told him, so... Unless Dario did, or someone on the... You know, we are getting missives back and right. forth. So, I don't know. I expect anger 
and surprise at my next statement, but I don't think we should. The Dowie have left, right? Yes, they all left, yeah. We say Morden was wounded, and they took him back to report to the king. We don't tell him. Okay, what does that achieve following that train of thought? Your father's heart doesn't break. How much can he take? How much more can he take? Really? He, he deserves to know, right? I'm only speaking out of fear of losing him. He'll find out eventually. If he finds out. He, if he doesn't already know for now. He told Morden to go down there. He was the one guarding the entrance. Mm. Pavement? What? I don't... Something in mind. <clears throat> well, considering the trouble we took to go under, um, well, the previous place, um, I think it'll get around to him eventually. If, again, I mean, he's been getting missives from the town as it is, he might not have had a chance. Well, he, he doesn't have time to grieve. No, <laughs> he in these situations, he just needs to, well. And he would be, it's just a temporary fix. He mm. will find out eventually. And if he and finds, if he out, finds that, out, we lied to him. Yes. Next time I'll see him and we're not being shot at by artillery pieces, I'll be the one to tell him. It's okay. Mm. You're right. None of us have had time to grieve. What is grieving? It's like taking the time to process that you've just lost someone that you wanted to spend more of your life with. Did you hear her? Did, did she just say hive mind? Where did you learn that, Arka? Who told you that? Out there. Who? Who said it? I don't know. You don't know? Mm. What they look like. Was it a woman? Was it a man? Boobs? Okay. Venora. Basil? Uh, Basil, Venora. Could be either or... No? She wearing a mm. cloak? Basil. Well, that's not a good word. We don't say that word. It's not nice. It's bad. Bad word. That word will make them beat you up. The bad guys. Someone taught her that no. and thought it would be funny. <clears throat> it is kind of funny. But like we were saying, time to process the loss. Yeah. It takes a bit. All right. And if it's not handled correctly, you make horrible decisions, unfortunately. I'm going to go up to the study and plan for tomorrow, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, been thinking so much. I'm smelling smoke in my ears. <laughs> I'll take a I'll take a bean bag. Yeah. Um. You guys did great today. Sarah, if you want to stick around, by all means, I'll be up for a while. Just, you know. I could set up a makeshift cot if you need one somewhere. I'll just sleep in his room if I get tired, but I'll probably be in the study with him for a bit. Oh. I don't right. want to go to sleep just yet. At least not, um, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, Melon. Prep night. for tomorrow. <clears throat> Hold on to your butts. Aka, there is going to be a man that I have called upon in my home. Do not bring him. No, no, like I smell smoke. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we gotta go. Do not eat him. Uh, if, um, not tonight. We're working. I need to focus. <laughs>